Welcome back to the PVP YouTube channel. If you've been following along, you know we're attacking our Stage 1 HP packages. From the Ford Power Strokes to the Chevrolet Duramaxes, now we've got a 4th Gen Cummins, so it's our C1 HP package powering this truck behind me. So guys, what you got to see, we just unloaded the buggy from a 25 plus 5 Big Tex trailer. Not a heavy load for this Cummins. Guys, we went out, we drove this truck, we shifted it, we passed, we made for sure that all of our engine vitals are in check but you're not in the driver's seat. So the best that we can do, instead of hyping up our C1 HP package, is put you on the dyno with us. We're gonna print you off a graph so that way you can see along the dyno run the entire time. We're gonna have an easy link plugged in so that way all of our engine vitals are right there for us. If there's a vital that we don't have that you guys wanna see, definitely comment below. We'll get that worked into the next C1 HP packages. So guys, let's don't waste any more time. Let's get this truck on the dyno. Let's see what it makes on a tow file. It's dyno time. So we're here at Steve Morgan's shop, owner of RPM Performance. We just dynoed our fourth gen Cummins. Guys, went through three different files. So we had a tow file on it, went to a street file, then we went into our race file on it. So now we're gonna reflect and look at the dyno graph and actually see what it done on the dyno. Did we pick up power? Did we lose power? Then we're gonna look at the easy link data. So now Steve's gonna dive into what the dyno said about the truck. So our first file that we done Dino was actually a heavy tow file. Yep. So on our heavy tow file, we can see that the truck come in making three, 430 horsepower at roughly 3,100 RPMs. That's so not the, max RPMs. Yeah. But yeah. And the torque there. was up over just over 900 foot pounds at 2,100 RPMs. So if you're cruising down the road, you guys are between 1,800 and 2,100 at like 70. Oh yeah. 70, you know, mile an hour, 75. So right around there. So you got your peak torque for a tow file. Sure, it's going to tow it also. So, so on the graph, if you look at the graph, we'll go and it shows, this, this graph is, is as flat as you could possibly ask for for a, a good heavy tow file. So that means when we hammer it, power jumps power up. Power jumps up and it stays up, so you're good. Stays right across. Yep. So okay. now let's add some power to We'll also throw up the easy link data for you guys to critique, and we're going to talk about it as well. We're going to go into our street file. Now, our street file, of course, we are expecting to add power to the truck as long as with torque. Well, let's see actually what happened and what the dyno said. Yep. So let's look at our street file. This was the second dyno that we've done. So it's our street file. It's on the dyno. We did the same exact RPM pulls, all that. But what did we see? So. We didn't make any more horsepower with the street file. We still made that exact same 430 horsepower, but what we did see is we jumped 50 foot pounds of torque just by going for to a street file. And it made the same, it made the torque number the same at roughly 2100 RPMs. So we went from 900 foot pounds of torque at 2100 to 950 at 
2150. So we, so we jumped there, guys. What we're going to show you is so we got the Easy Link data up. I'm going to recite it. I'm not looking at it right now, but you can look and view it. Our boost pressure was around 36 pounds of boost. That's decent. That's good. What we did not like is the Easy Link data on the drive pressure. Anytime we're adding horsepower, right. our drive pressure is going through the roof. We know this. This is nothing that's not unforeseen on a Dodge. So, guys, each time we go up in power, we are making a little bit more torque as this one, but the engine also sees something that it doesn't like, drive pressure. That's the reason why we're all about second gen swap. Right. And, and you can see that in the graph. Yeah. Well, the graph goes, as RPMs go up, the graph yeah. just kind of plateaus because of that we're drive pressure goes power. up, so it's not going to make any more. Drive power. pressure turns into blown cylinder, head gaskets, all that good jazz. Right. Now let's say, hey, listen, we want to take this thing out because this truck on the fourth gens, we've made over 500 horse, but what does this one make? Right. So let's we'll go back and we'll look at the third dyno that we've done. And keep in mind, this is a dually. This is not a single wheel, single rear wheel truck. Right. So this was a Max Horse tune. Yep. Yep. It's outfitted with our C1 HP package, same way as you do the yep. Fords and the Duramaxes. Yep. Like I say, we're being transparent with you guys. We've got the Easy Link hooked up. You can see I know our intake air temp stayed in check to around 127 degrees, our fuel rail is right around 23, 24K. Not a big deal, Not but our drive pressure is what we're coming back to. 88 pounds I've seen at one time. Our yeah. boost pressure stays at like 36 pounds, so all in all, to break down drive pressure, yeah. what's that mean? We can't, on a dyno, what's it showing? It's not going to make any more horsepower with that drive pressure so high. We're holding basically, we're basically yeah. holding a cap over the exhaust and saying you can't get out of the engine so we can't right. make any more power. So we're not going to make any more power up top, but what we can do is create more torque yep. in the lower RPM range. So if you look at our graph, it shows that we made 31 more horsepower with this file right. at 2,850 RPMs, but our torque went from 950 to 1,013. 63. And we're at 2,160 RPM, so we're still in the same RPM range making torque. The truck's efficient down low, but up top, yeah. the truck's not efficient. Yeah, it's done. Plain and simple. It's done. The truck, 2,500 below. The factory stuff's great. Anything above it, for lack of a better term, is junk. Yeah. It's junk. Much. Second gen swap. So, guys, we're going to get this off here. Steve's got some good data for you to look at. We're throwing up all the easy link data. We know it. We're not going to hide it. You guys get to see it. We don't like it just as much as you. So, all in all, we'll talk about what we'll do next if he wants to make more power. We just got our fourth gen Cummins off the dyno. Me and Steve dove into our C1 HP package. We gave you guys easy link data. We gave you dyno data. Now I want to give you my data of what I think about our C1 HP package outfitted on that truck. Clearly guys, we put a tow file on it, we put a street file, and we put a race file. Here's the thing, I want to be transparent and very, very clear with this. If this was my vehicle or a customer's vehicle, we want to make for sure that this truck is going to last them a long time. So that's where our drive pressure comes into play. That drive pressure is too high. 88 pounds on a race file. Guys, we know we're trying to get that power out of the truck, but a long term with it, that's not gonna cut it. Our boost pressure is 36 pounds. That's pretty good, but that drive pressure, man, that's like putting a cork in the exhaust system. We can't make any more power. So guys, a couple of things with this. One, we wanna be transparent. You guys know exactly what to expect when you come in here and get one of these trucks. We don't want you to pull out on the street, this truck flashes you a little bit of time because you're beating up on it. With this problem, two solutions. We use a wastegate to waste some of that exhaust gas off that turbocharger, we pick up power, or we second gen swap it. We go with a bigger charger, way more, way more efficient than a factory VGT. And guys, that's where all that horsepower is. It's still inside the engine, but it can't get out. If there's any of that portion that, guys, it's hard for you to understand, Definitely comment below, we'll help break it down. I just want to be transparent one more time for you guys to understand what drive pressure is. Now guys, when you're watching this, August 7th and 8th, we're going to be at the Texas Truck Jam. We've got our booth set up, tons of products, and if you show us this video that you guys watched it, we'll hook you up with some PVP merch, we've got some keychains for you. We've also got Riley, owner of Evil Diesel Fab, he's got his booth set up, he's got his 5th gen coming, so guys, it's going to be a good time, drag racing, sled and pulling, diesels everywhere. Guys, drop by the booth. We'll check you out. See you next week on the PVP YouTube channel.